What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of SOP. I'm your host, Enzo the God. For those of you that are tuning in for the first time, welcome. I uh, just want to give you guys a recommendation. You guys can go ahead and like this video, subscribe. I mean, hey, that's all on you. I'm not going to stress you on it. But also, guys, since you guys are here, I wanted to give you guys an update. Oh, did you see that? What is that? Oh, that's my harness bar. As you guys can see, it just came back from the paint shop. It's going to go inside, hold my harnesses, obviously. But there's a couple more parts that came in today. Rear sway bar. It's a must. And front sway bar. Ooh, as you guys can see, I already scratched it. But no worries. My bushing is going to sit there, so I'm not really stressing on that. Hopefully, it covers it really well, because if not, I'm a neat freak, and I want to touch, you know, everything and make sure that it's... 100% to my liking another thing guys. I am very upset today I don't seem it because I got to put on a good a Good smile and a good face for you guys even though I look like a mess because it is a thousand degrees out here dude It feels like the devil's butthole, but all right, what I'm about to show you It's probably my most disappointing most Annoying thing and I know a lot of you guys have gone through this <sighs> To some of you this is the end of the world and for some others it's like whatever but i chipped the paint yeah uh, i chipped it not my greatest moment but i chipped it uh for those of you that can't really see let me go ahead and zoom in right there for you bam i chipped my fender i am not happy about that i'm pissed off about that uh that happened when i was removing the actual hood of the car um it came with these little like strut like things over here and one of them fell and it just connected hard with that fender and it chipped it uh luckily for me i let the painter know i asked him hey how much he said don't worry just bring it back if there's any other issues that you find bring it back i'll fix it i will adjust it and i am lucky enough to have a painter like that and his social media account is right there go ahead and give him a follow he's dope man um i couldn't have been more lucky to have a dope painter like that uh another thing i wanted to give you guys an update on uh, as you guys can see here as well, I got a wing or a ducktail or however you want to call it, and my 0304 uh, replica bumper. Um, these two parts, the wing and the bumper, are aftermarket. Uh, this was my first experience ordering aftermarket uh, body kits, um, and it's safe to say that it was a failure. I am not a fan of aftermarket, you know, body kits, even though this one looks great. There is fitment issues and yeah, I was I'm not gonna spend the money and go through the process of having the paint shop Cut it adjust it. I'm not gonna do that I'm just gonna go ahead and get rid of it because if I start spending money on that Then I'm gonna get more pissed off when it's not exactly how I like it for those of you that are like me body lines and all this Yeah, I'm not gonna deal with this as you guys can see there. You see that little ugly fitment right there Trust me the body the body shop did the best they could being reasonable and not charging me a million dollars to cut it and adjust it no I, I didn't want that i said that's fine don't stress it i'm gonna go out and locate me a real 0304 bumper shave off the cobra and then slap it on because that's the type of guy i am and i'm not gonna return this so if anybody wants to make me an offer on this 0304 replica bumper as you guys can see it looks super sick holla at me i'll give you a good deal i'll give you a stupid deal another thing as well as you guys can see the wing here i'm not sure if you guys can really tell because i know this is a very bright color and everything's so bright but uh you see the fitment here see how this is flat right here almost flat curvy this is like super curvy so there's gonna be fitment issues there I'll, i'm gonna try to see oh my god johnny's here so i'm gonna try to see if i can go ahead and send that out uh to the body shop and have them really adjust that i'll spend the money on that because i am a fan of the wing but overall guys i'm just gonna start the process of assembling this motor and well not assembling putting together all the little pieces of the motor and mating the transmission johnny 2 js here and What's it's up, like it's it's like four o'clock did you guys miss me no tell him no <laughs> comment below tell him bro, no it's crazy it's too hot to be bro the cars. i know i told him it's as hot as the devil's butthole out here bro but yeah so if he was here earlier i wouldn't have chipped my fender guys oh, but yeah, it's it is what it is um but yeah let Enough with the talking. I'll show you guys more parts as we go, but let's get this process going. It's the last time you guys are seeing this motor on a stand, right? Wait, no, as in, it's gonna go back on the stand? <laughs> We're building a car, bro. You never know when it's gonna go back on I the know. stand. I <laughs> know. Well, let's hope it's never. Let's hope it's never. I ain't trying to take this thing out. Nah, no, it'll be good. If anything, I'll swing like a pinata. 
All this motor for what, 300 horsepower? <laughs> <laughs> all this stuff's right here. Damn, bro. Hey, you know the thing that I love about this color? What? Is that, well, I don't like it, but I do like it, is that when the sun hits it, the camera can't pick it up. It's so bright really? that like, every, it's just like, it hurts your face. Yeah. McCloy, this is the one that I wanted to go to, go with too now. I heard a lot of good things about these. And it's made in the USA. Right Ooh, there, boys. Yeah. All about the USA, you feel me? What's up, Johnny? Johnny likes Japanese shit. I don't blame him though. Japanese stuff is cool. They're more reliable. Than Look, bro, we're just gonna cut him off right now. <laughs> and instructions. But we don't need those. No. <laughs> I'm just kidding. You guys should park everything down. And then, uh. <laughs> yeah, you'll be alright. Stop disrespecting the people over here. My assumption is that he put a brand new rear main seal. <clears throat> my my assumption. Oh look, he comes with the throw out bearing. And Wait, what is no. that? Wait, that's not throw bearing. What is that? It's like a space one. This is the throw out. A little little boy. Look at that little thing. Look at that little thing. A lot of you guys on this video chat have heard that, huh? <laughs> I don't know what to see. Now we got to read the instructions, bro. Yeah. Trash. I don't personally think we'll need that little spacer thing, but every time I personally feel like it. Okay, look, some Ford installations require a spacer to be installed between the stock hydraulic throw bearing and the front face of the transmission kit. On the bright side, we don't need it. For anybody that's watching this and is thinking this is a how to video, don't do that. Because <laughs> we are not professionals. Well, actually, Johnny might be. Mm. I'm sure as hell not. Not really. My profession is making sure that I just don't mess up. But sometimes it happens. That's right. All the time it happens. <laughs> We're going to change our YouTube name to uh, It Happens. Because it happens. <laughs> I think Houston, we're going to have a problem. Oh, no, it's over there. I see it. Woo! I was like, bro, I only have one left and I have an extra hole. What's going on here? But I see it over there. I was about to be like, Zach, Zach, you got it over there, bud? <laughs> now, normally you're supposed to torque these, correct? Yeah. I think we're going to torque it as well. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm all by myself. Johnny 2J bounced already, but I wanted to give you guys a little heads up or an update, really. Uh, so I ended up going to O'Reilly's to go buy some pressure plate bolts because apparently in the mixture of all those bolts over there, I don't have anything. So I didn't have those bolts and I also don't think I have the uh, transmission bolts, the ones that made it to the engine. So I'm more than likely gonna have to go purchase those again tomorrow. Now, the only thing that I am sketched about is that since I bought those bolts at O'Reilly's, I got those zinc covered ones and i'm hoping and i'm praying to every god out there that these bolts don't snap i hope they don't snap because that would be like the worst thing ever but yeah i didn't want to wait but i feel like i should wait but i don't want to wait so i'm not gonna wait but yeah anyway i got some little pizza i'm gonna take a little lunch break after this little lunch break i'm gonna get right back to it but just wanted to give you guys an update all right guys so after further conversation with Johnny 2J, Eddie, and Slug, uh, I'm gonna wait. So when I say I'm gonna wait is I'm not gonna end up using these that I little hardware bolts that I got from O'Reilly's. The reason why is because they have a really good point. Remember how I told you I didn't want to use them, but I kinda need to use them, but I should wait, but I'm not gonna wait. Well, guess what, yeah, I am gonna wait. Um, they, made, they made sense. Uh, they said there's a lot of pressure here. Uh, keyword, pressure plate. Um, and I don't think these are gonna hold up to that. So what I ended up doing is I ended up going ahead and ordering some ARP bolts for that pressure plate. And I went ahead and also ordered ARP bolts for the transmission because I don't have those bolts either. I'm just missing bolts left and right. You feel me? I, I think I got one missing in here because I'm frustrated today. So as of right now, I'm gonna stop the video here and we're gonna continue from this current situation. So if you see a whole change of outfit and maybe a whole change of attitude, it's because it's another day. So just, let's just jump into that. I know, I know before we even start, I have safety glasses on. 
can make fun of me all you want. But I just wanted to give you guys a little update. This is day two. Uh, this is not gonna be a part of necessarily the whole engine assembly build, but I just wanted to throw this little video in there just to uh, kind of show you guys what I am doing on the uh, side, I guess. I'm installing the rear uh, rotors, the uh, coils, um, I'm mocking them up right now to see how they, everything's gonna work, but more than likely, I'm just gonna do the rear end and then uh, the rest of the process of the front coilovers, I'll go ahead and show you guys that. But I just wanted to kinda, you know, give you guys a little bit of a overview of what I'm doing. Looks pretty sick. Uh, I am gonna be painting the caliper brackets. Um, what color am I gonna paint? Oh, I'm gonna be painting them red. So that right there is gonna be pretty dope. I just, like I said, just wanted to give you guys a little update. But with that being said, let's just get back to the rest of the video. All right, guys, and just like that. Okay, so I wanted to give you guys a little update. The bolts are in. These right here are the pressure plate bolts. I'm completely happy. I'm happy because if I didn't order these, we wouldn't have that process. And then I ordered the transmission bolts as well. So funny story, uh, I found the transmission bolts and the pressure plate bolts, how they originally came. I forgot that I put them in my light bag. Yeah, so transmission bolts, there was one missing and one was broken. So I'm happy I ordered that. And then these right here, they're all complete, but I don't know if they're ARP or not. They're just original, so I just, yeah, I don't want to go through the whole process. But I'm going to go ahead and assemble all this together. I'm going to go ahead and put the pressure plate on. I'm going to go ahead and uh, uh, bolt that down. I'm going to go ahead and put the transmission that's over there behind me. I'm going to assemble it, put it together. Uh, I'll save you guys that whole montage, and I'll probably just start from me lifting the motor up and the tranny and trying to drop it in. So let's just go ahead and do that. All right, guys, I also wanted to give you guys an update. As of right now, as you guys can see, I have it set up in a different in a different way. I went ahead and installed the starter already, and I also went ahead and installed the uh, AC compressor. Um, obviously, I'm gonna get that filled up later and makes my life easier for right now. I tried to install the uh, power steering pump, but I forgot I need to you know, sand it down and get it painted and stuff like that. So the, the good thing for me is that it's not in a very difficult place, so it's gonna be easy for me to install it outside of the vehicle and I also have a hose that I have to mess with. But as of right now, that's what she's looking like. So let's just go ahead and drop it in. All right guys, she's in. I'm just gonna tell you this right now. I'm done for the day. I literally had four people assisting me with dropping this in because we could not get the motor mounts to line up. And for those of you that are trying to do this later on down down the way I'm just gonna give you one advice that I didn't want to listen to because I was being stubborn because it's very hot it's at least 100 degrees out and I just wanted to get this thing done so fast but if you're gonna drop this motor in make sure to remove the bolts from here so it gives you enough play because if you don't as you can see it kept connecting and that was the issue that I was having that it would not allow the motor mounts to line up and well, I finally listened, I did that, and the motor dropped in. But guys, I, I don't know if you can tell, I'm out of breath, I'm exhausted. I feel like I, I am like four shades darker, and the bandana itself that, I mean, I, hey, I'm from LA, so these are the only bandanas that I have, but it's, it's super soaked, it's drenched. And uh, with that being said, guys, thank you guys for tuning in. I know it wasn't so descriptive or so detailed, but on the next video, I'm gonna be connecting everything, so. If you have any questions, comment below. I'll see you guys on the next one.